As we know, part of the city's treasures are its diverse cultural communities. From Koreatown to Little Italy and to Chinatown, flavors and traditions overflow. But have you heard about the city's latest addition, Little Haiti? Well, the area was renamed, was designated that because the largest population of Haitians in our country resides there. But, as we know, controversy often comes with change, and this time is no different. The city council decided to co-name a street in Little Haiti after one of the nation's founding fathers, Jean-Jacques Dessalines, a former slave who helped overthrow French colonists. So then you might ask, what's the conflict? Well, here to discuss that in detail is the assembly member who serves Little Haiti, Rodney Bichot. And assembly member, welcome to you. Thank you. Let's talk about the designation of, of, of Little Haiti. So what are your views on the notion of not just having this community being thought of mm -hmm. as Little Haiti, but actually a designation calling it Little Haiti? Why is that important? Uh, you know, that's important because of who we are in New York City. Uh, we are a very diverse um, city where all countries, all immigrants um, from all over come and reside. And we have areas and pockets of neighborhoods where you have large population of a certain group. In my area, which is Flatbush, East Flatbush, um, we had a number of Haitians who had migrated in the late 60s and had made that area their home. And over, over time, they've become the largest immigrant population, over 42 percent. And so we thought it was time to designate this area as Little Haiti uh, to reclaim our territory, especially given the, all the national derogatory um, names against Haitians. And we felt that, and against immigrants, we felt that, you know, this was time to reclaim our, um, our neighborhood and bring economic opportunities, let people see who we are. If you look back in the past, mm -hmm. as you know, sometimes the designations of these areas were not intended to be complementary. Well, that has changed. I mean, you've seen that in, um, in Tulsa, where it was Black Wall Street, right. where African Americans were just secluded. And, and to a poor point, Haitians who came into... And, and they're a horrendous tragedy, by the way. The, as the a result community of that. burned down, exactly. a lot of people don't know. And as a result of being excluded, you know, Haitians came into this country uh, with English being um, their second language, speaking a foreign language. No one knows what Haitian Creole is. And as a result of language barrier, looking different, being of African descent, um, they were typically um, excluded from most groups. And we as Haitians had no choice but to build our neighborhood. And over time, when Haitians started getting accepted, um, you know, it became part of the greater community, you know, uh, Little Haiti. It was um, informally referred to as Little Haiti where you're walking down the street and all you hear is Creole. When you're walking down the street and all you see is um, Haitian churches and Haitian restaurants. And so um, we felt that, you know, why don't we make this official? Let me talk with you about the, the, the controversy, if mm -hmm. we can. Uh, we talked about um, the, the co-naming of the street, mm -hmm. Jean-Jacques Dessalines, um, one of the founders. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the controversy that attaches to that, history will also tell you that in the aftermath of the revolution, it was essentially his idea to purge mm -hmm. white French people mm -hmm. from there. If the British were plotting against um, the Americans and they were saying, hey, we're about to come and take back those territories that we had, mm -hmm. we're going to enslave you. We want you guys to be colonizers. What would you do? What would we do as Americans? We were in the midst of war, and I think um, people should understand Jean-Jacques de Salines, who was born as a slave, who was the first ruler, who led us into this enormous victory of independence, making Haiti the first black republic and the second nation after America to gain their independence in the Western in, in, um, Hemisphere. We should recognize that we are celebrating a freedom fighter not just for Haiti, but freedom fighter of the world, a freedom fighter of the Americas, who helped the United States um, be in a position to purchase the Louisiana Territory, who had helped the Southern Americans uh, gain their independence from the Spanish, um, from the Spaniards. So 
we need to look at it in the time frame that it was. I, I think it's an, in, an interesting mm -hmm. discussion. You and I were talking before about some other areas mm -hmm. where the, the naming becomes mm -hmm. an issue. And, and we certainly appreciate your coming on and talking with us. And hopefully we'll continue to talk with you down the road as some of these things continue to evolve. But thanks for spending some time with us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, Jack. You be well. Thank you. Bye.